Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We are going to be test driving some very interesting products from YSL. I saw these and I was like, oh my gosh, YSL is total luxury and this is such an interesting item. It's perfect for WTF. This is a lip product. Yes, from YSL. You would never expect to see a bright, vibrant blue from this brand, but it gets even kind of crazier. There's like a lime green one, this right here. Look at that, are you kidding me? And then there is a bright magenta one. Now, all of these are meant to be layered underneath the YSL glossy stains. You could put this underneath any of your own stains that you have. I went and I did purchase the YSL glossy stains just so I could try the product together. I kind of feel like it's one of those situations where you read the back of a shampoo and it says, best results if you use the matching conditioner. Like they want you to buy more from their brand, but the reality is this is gonna work with other brands. You know? However, these two glossy stains from YSL look really beautiful. And I just wanna show you really how much these do stain your hands. They'll do the same thing on your mouth. I am going to swatch these two. Let them sit for a moment and wipe it off and you will see what happens. So this is a product that is very wet. It goes on the mouth. It looks a little bit glossy, but as you go throughout your day, you drink water, you eat food, whatever, and it comes off. It kind of just leaves behind a stain and a tint, kind of like very similar if you had a popsicle, something like that, ate something red. It's not always my personal favorite look. Like I like using a glossy stain and then being able to put on a gloss on top without whipping out a mirror and doing like an intense lipstick. Like I think that look can be pretty, but I personally don't like the stain part of it just on its own. I feel like it makes my lips look smaller and I don't really like that. Maybe that's just me. So I'm gonna wipe this off and there you have it. You see, this is gonna be kind of what would be left behind on your mouth if you wore either one of those glossy stains and then everything kind of wore down and got wiped off. You can be taking oil trying to get this off of your mouth. It really does stain, so you have been warned. It doesn't really smell like typical YSL products to me. Is that weird? I don't know why that's weirding me out. These are $36 a piece. That is very up there in price for what it is. And that's why I'm considering it a WTF because if you were to get all three of the primary colors, which are limited edition, then you're over a hundred bucks on lip products. So they only have the three. These won't be permanent in their collection. Just heads up. The glossy stains are permanent in the collection. And just to go over, I have the shade 105, which is very peachy corally. And then I have the shade number nine, which is a beautiful red. And number nine is the one that they say works the best with these primary colors. And that's why I purchased it. So we're definitely gonna check that one out and see how it changes with each different color. I think this is kind of cool. Is it cool? Am I reaching or is this actually cool? I'm not sure anymore. I'm not sure about anything in my life anymore. The yellow amplifier is said to change anything into a more orange vibrant hue. We're just gonna go in. Eh, that does not look pretty. Let me just stain my mouth poo poo green. Okay, so I have this on and it looks like absolute horrific crap. I'm gonna first go in with the lighter stain so that we can just play with the darker one after it. This is such a good look for me, right? Can you imagine if I just left it like this? All right, so let's go in. No, ew. Now it just kind of looks like I ate something weird, so I don't know about the green and the pink. Let's try again. Let's go with red. Okay, you have to be careful with this stuff because like the green is kind of peeking from underneath here and it kind of looks like I just ate a hot dog and maybe got some mustard on my face. I'm gonna go ahead and say straight out the gate that the lime one, I'm not really a fan and I really actually don't think it changed the color that drastically. Ugh, nose itch, nose itch. Oh, don't you hate that? You're gonna, I'm gonna ruin my makeup. Okay, okay, so let's play with the blue. Oh girl, that is really blue. I see. This could be a really big mistake. I look like I was left out in the cold. This is not exactly the most flattering type of a blue. Like, you know, you put on a blue liquid lip and it's like, yes, trend. This is for Instagram. Like it feels like that. This just looks like I had a Slurpee and I rubbed it all over my face. Oh, wow. 
That actually did turn it into like a dark purple. Cool. All right, so the blue is working. It definitely changed the entire shade of this more bright red. And I think that's pretty cool. I don't hate it. I mean, you do have to do a little bit of detail work because I kind of got out of the edge here. So I think something I would do next time is be very, very precise with whatever shade you're putting underneath, like that blue. I should have gotten a little bit further out where I knew I was gonna be putting the red. Like I don't like that that red is red over here and the rest of it is a different color. I guess it's kind of cool. It's a little bit patchy. I mean, it's cool, but am I like super jazzed about this and everybody needs it? No. I'm gonna go ahead and put like the pinky on top of this just because my lips are like already blue. Let's see if it makes this one like a weird color. Nope, looks like crap. This I actually love so much that I would just wear this on its own, even though this is one of the primary colors that when you layer on top of it, it's going to be a different shade. So this is one of the three, there's that lime, the blue, and then this magenta shade. I am gonna put the peachy one on top and then I'm gonna call it good for now. We will do check-ins just to see kind of like what that whole deal is. It's very pretty, but I mean, I think this on top of any berry kind of a lip thing underneath would do the same thing. So the magenta shade just kind of confuses me. It's not really one of those, ooh, oh, wow. But this is the primary color kit, so I guess I have to just let it be. I will wear this the rest of the day and I will be back with some check-ins. All right, I'll see you guys in a little bit. You guys, my makeup is in like full meltdown at this point, but I have to say I'm surprised that this YSL Glossy Stain A stays looking really glossy. I don't really know how it does that, but it actually stays put better than most glossy, glossy stains. I'm making not a lot of sense with that, but look. It doesn't really come off, pretty transfer resistant. The stain has completely saturated my lips. I mean, even on my hand, these two little swatches I did earlier are still there and I've washed my hands so many times. So the product itself is cool. Now the primary colors, I think it's kind of weird. I don't know, the blue and the green kind of stained my lips really funny and I don't know that I'm down for that. Um, I think I'm gonna force James to try it later on. No, <laughs> yeah. what? It'll happen. I'm about to run into Sephora for a mad dash to pick up some holographic makeup. You guys are gonna die with what is coming on my channel soon. I'm so excited. Um, yeah, but I will do another check-in in a little bit, but this has been on all day and it's doing pretty good. Let's go to Sephora. Why are you drinking the Slurpee? I was influenced by advertising on Instagram. <laughs> oh my. I'm sorry, and I, 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 it's just the truth. I kept seeing Slurpees on Instagram, and I was like, I really want one. So I got one. I got the Pepsi with um, cinnamon. This is not sponsored. It's the Pepsi Fire. Pepsi Fire, but it was really good. I'll probably regret it later, but that's okay. I think I need one of these, actually. What do you think? It's cute. Yeah? This would be so good for my setting spray, like a little personal fan. And it's shaped like ice cream. Hello. What you got? Lots of stuff. It's secret. Stay subscribed. All right, so this is the part where James is gonna come here and try on the blue lip stain. Yay! I promised you that I wasn't gonna do it, and it's not gonna happen. Nope. Maybe it's a little nope, bit. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> See? You're so much better for this. You've got great lips. I don't have any lips. I know. I have some good lips. Hi, baby. I don't even know what I just did. I just put blue on my face because I'm just so tired. Don't buy this product. You'll waste your money. All right, you guys, it is way later than I thought it would be when I was gonna do this final check-in, and it has been so swelteringly hot, and one of my air conditioning units broke in this room here, and it is just, it's so hot today. Does anybody else start acting kind of Looney Tunes when the heat is really crazy? Because I do. My personality gets like really all over the place, and TMI, but I got my period today, and I'm just kind of like, 
I can't sit down and play with all of the lipsticks again. So here's the deal. I am just going to give you my final thoughts. I think that these two, the blue and the yellow, are an absolute waste of your money. They're patchy, they're uneven. They do not alter the lip color that much to make it worth 36 bucks. The more magenta one of the primary colors, this guy right here, I actually like this just alone. And because it's not a liquid lip, you can actually apply more on top without it grabbing or becoming chunky or almost cakey on your lips. Do you know what I'm talking about? When you put on lipstick too many times, it kind of just grabs and bunches. This does not do that. So you can kind of layer it up if you want more of the glossy effect. Shoot, I look crazy right now. Oh, you guys haven't seen Puka on my channel in a while. Look at this little baby. Why are you so cute? You're literally the sweetest little dog. This is the most sweet, fluffy little dog. He does not have a mean bone in his body. Puka, I love you. I love you. I'm gonna go wrap up my day, play with my dog, and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button and be sure to come back tomorrow. I have a really good video tomorrow for Hot or Not, so I do hope to see you then. Thanks for hanging out with me today, though. I love you guys, and I'll see you on my next video. All right, bye. Mwah.